And welcome back to Face the Nation. We are returning to the crisis in Ukraine because there have been some new developments this morning. CBS News correspondent Holly Williams is in Slavonsk, a city that is being held by separatists. Uh, Holly, what's the latest? Good morning, Bob. Here in Slavyansk on Friday, pro-Russian separatists took eight European military observers prisoner and they're now claiming that they are spies. Slavyansk has been under the control of Russian-speaking militants for nearly two weeks now. And today the town's self-proclaimed separatist mayor, Vyacheslav Ponomaryov, told us that they are at war, that those observers are now prisoners of war, and that he wants to swap them for militants who've been arrested by Ukraine's government. Uh, we've just now come from a press conference where the eight European observers were let out uh, and able to take questions from journalists. They looked tense and unhappy. Uh, the head of the team, Colonel Axel Schneider, denied that they'd undertaken any covert activities and stressed that they had diplomatic status. He said they were being treated well, but said he did not know that the separatists considered them to be prisoners of war. Events in this small town and across eastern Ukraine are fueling the worst tensions between Washington and Moscow since the Cold War. Both Ukraine and the US accuse Russia of inciting the separatist insurgency here uh, and of aiding the militants. Russia has denied that it's stirring up the unrest, but has warned that if there's violence here, it could intervene militarily. Thousands of Russian troops are massed at Ukraine's border where they've been carrying out military exercises. But so far, U.S. intelligence does not believe that they're readying for an imminent invasion. Thank you very much, Ali. Thank you. Thank you, Bob.